Hi, I'm Greg from Goyo's Garden and Tide Eyes. Uh, I'm going to be doing a second attempt with hemostats today. I'm doing my own bedding. This is a pillowcase. And as you can see, there's a little dirt on it. I dropped it. And I don't think it's really going to affect it much, but I was really, really anxious to get started on this. And you probably seen right out the bat the fold I did. Very, very wrong. <laughs> You'll see at the end of the video what I mean about that. The first attempt with the hemostats was a shirt for my wife that I'll be posting at the end of this video. Uh, was the video I was making that almost ate my iPhone in the muck. So I don't have the video of the first one. And the second one, you can see I'm winging it. I don't know which direction I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just playing. One thing I'm having a hard time with is keeping the hemostats straight up and down. You can see that they pull. And so some sides are higher, some sides are lower. I think I figured out how to deal with that during the dying, but that's in the future. Um, and I would like to say right now, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining my channel and thank you to all my old subscribers for sticking with me. Stephanie, you're an angel. Thank you so much. So I'm on the die rack and uh, I'm starting off with the sea glass. There's a little midnight blue for the sinew line. A little yellow, lemon yellow, soft orange, robin's egg, sage green, amethyst, forgot to add it on the end there, but That's royal blue. And oxblood. Oh, don't forget the soda ash. So I'm using hot water bottles for this one. I don't know the actual temperature of the water I have a big pot on my barbecuer that I heat up and I like to use it just as the little bubbles are coming up from the bottom. It's not too hot to handle, well kind of, but you need gloves, but it works just fine. And so the problem I'm having on here, when I put the dye on, like I said the first time with the hemostats and the bottles. It was too thick alongside the hemostats. I should have kept it back a little bit. So that caused a lot of overflow. I'm still working on this technique. Uh, I wish the video was a little bit shorter. I do apologize about that, but it started off as 30 some minutes, but the uh, actual total time for adding the dye and the water until I was done was 26 minutes. So you just have to keep working it in, let the water seep through. You can hear the drip into the bottom of my tote there, and you can tell if it's going all the way through or not. The faster the drip, the faster it's going through. And later on, I'll be showing my top sheet and my fitted sheet. Both of those are also not quite what I was expecting, but that's in the future here. 
Let's get this one under our belt and we'll see what happens. Oh, and I also wanted to point out, I was having some problems uh, receiving notifications and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Some of them I was receiving in uh, YouTube studios only and then some on my post. We'll try to figure that out. Well, here's the results. Aha, a half of one. And there's the backside. You can tell I did the fold right on the seam. Here's the finished product. And this was the first shirt I did with the hemostats for my wife. It was liquid dye and then ice dye. I thought it came out pretty good, but I missed the filming. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you again.